So hello everyone, my name is Thiago Reis from ST Microelectronics and today we're going to talk about the long-range connectivity with SIGFOX. Uh, this technology is going to be based on our S2LP sub-gigahertz radio and in, for, for this particular demo, demonstration case we are showing uh, a gas sensor coming from Figaro with a signal conditioning chain uh, with our OPAMPS product family with the TSU111 and a temperature sensor STLM20 which is a 0.5 degree accurate temperature sensor, analog temperature sensor. Uh, in terms of solution, the P-Nucleo IKA02A1 is a very complete uh, development ecosystem for gas sensing type of application. So it basically comes with the Figaro sensor, the TGS5141, which is essentially a coin cell shaped uh, gas sensor technology with an expected lifetime of more than 10 years. So you can expect a very long longevity in terms of gas sensing. And again, it's a very powerful and flexible platform which will operates with our Nucleo uh, ecosystem. In this case, the Nucleo L053 R8 uh, development kit. Uh, in terms of signal conditioning, we are focusing on the TSU111, which basically brings 900 nanoamps of power consumption. So it's really, really low power consuming device. And it's a really high accuracy device. So the accuracy is really important when measuring uh, gas sensing technologies. And you want to be safe and want to ensure that your data being collected by, by the analog sensor is being properly communicated and translated into the digital world, into the digital uh, segment, and then transmitted to the, plat uh, to the Sigfox platform. Uh, the STLM20, which is a 2.4 volt, uh, high, highly accurate analog temperature sensor, 0.5 degrees of accuracy, and the gas sensor again, uh, which is the electromechanical gas sensor coming from uh, our partner, in this case, Figaro. Uh, in terms of solution and looking at the whole ecosystem uh, with this specific development kit platform, you will find the S2LP development kit at 915 megahertz, which is basically operating uh, with S2LP, which is our sub-gigahertz uh, radio transceiver, uh, power amplifier from a third party, and uh, the gas sensing uh, ecosystem that I just described. Uh, overall, this package, all the software available, not only the hardware, which I just described, but all the software is available on ST.com, so you can go ahead and download and test not only the dedicated evaluation platform for gas sensing, but also for sub-gigahertz within Sigfox or proprietary or standalone radios. Uh, it's completely flexible. And in this particular case, for this demonstration, we are showing the connectivity of the Sigfox cloud, which essentially shows when the data uh, has been acquired and transmitted to, to the Sigfox infrastructure, the network infrastructure service. And once that's done, uh, the data is then uh, shared with IBM Watson platform, and that's what we are showing. So the IBM Watson, as you know, uh, is one of the most powerful platforms in terms of data analytics and uh, artificial intelligence online uh, available for, for cloud computing. And again, uh, it's merging a full ecosystem of solutions. Uh, the beauty of it is that you can build this full ecosystem based on our evaluation kits, on our evaluation platforms, and actually test a much closer solution to your end product. Uh, in terms of the de uh, development ecosystem, so how the network actually operates. Uh, the network operates uh, at transmitting the data from the Sigfox, from the Sigfox uh, development kit with the gas sensor. The data then reaches the network or the Sigfox network infrastructure, which has been deployed throughout uh, the country, so North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, everywhere uh, it's, been, uh, it's been deployed. And what it does, once the data is being collected and posted to the cloud, you can actually, first of all, you have control of the data being posted, and you can actually access the data on the Sigfox cloud with your IBM Watson uh, development ecosystem or your development uh, platform. And once the data is on the cloud, you can access it from pretty much uh, anywhere. Uh, going to a little bit more details of our solution for the sub-gigahertz radio, in a few words, what's really important to remember and to highlight about S2LP, first of all, power consumption. The power consumption in receiving mode is 6.7 milliamps. It's extremely low power consuming. So if your product is battery operated, this is an extremely powerful tool. 
On top of that, the transmission power, uh, uh, power consumption is again ex an extremely aggressive number. So 10 milliamps at 10 dBm output power. So it's an extremely power efficient and flexible device for you to be able to communicate throughout multiple connectivity applications. Uh, another important point to highlight is not only that we offer up to 16 dBm output power, which without, it, without the need of a PA, which is uh, the benchmark as of today on the market, and uh, the RS uh, or the receiving sensitivity, which is minus 130 dBm, which is again a very powerful characteristic when you are receiving data from, uh, from very low throughput uh, applications. So again, this builds up a very powerful link budget and brings performance, performance, power consumption, and robustness to networks operating with uh, SQLP and Sigfox technology. And uh, for more information, please go to st.com and uh, we'll be happy to share with you uh, all the details on this presentation. Thank you.